वेलकम बैक माई सेल्फ मिसेस फेलिना गुंसालविस टीचर ऑफ श्री विद्या मंदिर इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल मारस्टर बोर्ड वसी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद चैप्टर 16 ऑफ साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड 7th द टॉपिक इज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज सो व्हाट इज फ्यूल अ फ्यूल इज एनी मटेरियल दैट कैन बी मेड टू रिएक्ट विद अदर सब्सटेंसेस सो दैट इट रिलीज एनर्जी as heat energy or to be used for work waste substances are used in day to day life for generating energy these substances are called fuels fuels are formed in the solid liquid or gaseous state solid fuels like wood coal charcoal liquid fuels like petroleum diesel gasoline kerosene and gaseous fuel like natural gas coal millions of years ago forests were buried underground as a result of certain natural event layers of soil kept getting decomp deposited over them the very high pressure from above and the heat from the earth interior slowly transformed the buried plants into fuel coal was thus formed from the remains of those plants that is why coal is said to be a fossil fuel now let's know the types of coal coal is found in mines there are four types of coal pit lignite that is brown coal bituminous coal and anthracite coal anthracite is the coal of the highest grade Now let's know the uses of coal. Coal is in a way a storehouse of carbon. It is burned to obtain heat energy. Coal is used as fuel. It is used as a fuel in thermal power plant as well as to run boiler and railway engine. Coal is also used as a fuel for cooking and for baking bricks in kilns that is oven for burning or baking. on a large scale the gaseous fuels produce a gas and water gas are obtained from coal coal as an energy resource contributes greatly to industrial development the oil and natural gas corporation were established on 14 august 1956 it functioned under the ministry of petroleum and natural gas of the government of india ongc is the largest oil and gas research and production company in india its head office is at dehradun uttarakhand ongc produces about 77 percentage of the crude oil and about 62 percentage of the natural gas produced in india of the seven commercial important underground oil reserve in india ongc and successfully export 6 now let's know about mineral oil mineral oil is a liquid fuel formed by decomposition of organic substances buried underground millions of years ago bodies of dead sea organism sank to the bottom of the sea layers of soil and sand collected on them due to high pressure and temperature the remains of the dead organism were transformed into mineral oil the underground mineral oil is extracted through oil well mineral oil is found mainly in oil sand shell sandstone and limestone at a depth of about 1000 to 3000 meters mineral oil is also known as petroleum or crude oil it is a greenish brown in color petroleum is a mixture of many compound mainly of the hydrocarbon type it also contain compound of oxygen nitrogen and sulfur petroleum is extracted through oil well and refined by fractional distillation to separate other component evolution petrol gasoline diesel kerosene naphthene 
getting oil are all obtained from petroleum they are used as fuels and for production of dye pesticide perfumes fossils are preserved remains of dead organism in rock fossils are the sign of the existence left behind by organism that got buried billions of years ago sometime impression of the organism are seen on the surface of coal and stones natural gas natural gas is an important fossil fuel it is found associated with petroleum in underground oil wells and in some places as natural gas alone the main components of natural gas is methane while ethane propane and butane are present in small proportion natural gas is formed from the remains of organism buried deep underground and subjected to high pressure this fuel can be carried over a long distance by means of a gas pipeline but in the absence of a network of pipeline it is transformed under high pressure into compressed natural gas and liquefied natural gas this makes it possible to transport the gas now let's know the characteristic of compressed natural gas they catches fire easily no solid waste remains after combustion that means after burning carbon dioxide and water are formed in small quantities other pollutants are not produced compressed natural gas can be transported easily combustion can be controlled very easily now let's know about lpg that is liquefied petroleum gas Petroleum gas is obtained during refining of crude petroleum. Petroleum gas is transformed into a liquid by subjecting it to high pressure and reducing its volume to 1 by 240 of the original. It is stored in the thick wall steel cylinder so that under pressure it remains in the liquid state. As it comes out from the storage cylinder it is transformed back into a gas this gas contain mainly two component propane and butane in the ratio of 30 by 70 it is an ordinary gas but a small amount of a chemical called ethane per capsule which has a strong characteristic order is added to it this help to detect any leakage of lpg gas immediately and thus can avoid any accident now let's know about energy crisis and alternative energy resources the demand for fuels has increased greatly due to rapid growing population but reserves of fossil fuels are limited it is becoming difficult to meet the increased demand the likelihood of this reserves gets exhausted in known as energy crisis as the reserves of fossil fuel namely mineral oil and coal are limited and the demand is increasing so some alternative fuels are coming into use there are hydrogen biofuel methyl and wood alcohol ethanol or green alcohol are some of the alternative fuels copy down the following assignment the topic of natural resources that is forest resources and ocean resources will be continued in the next video